This is a video of an HP remote integrated lights out reboot remotely. Uh, this is on the older version on AG2. And this is non integrated, this is over an expansion bay. Here we have the login screen. As you can see, it's pretty similar to the ILO. This one doesn't say the current user though. It says server power status, remote inside address, remote inside name, and log entries. Over, um, there's remote inside name of the device. Over on the left, we have our remote console options. Frame, full, two cursor, we can set our hotkeys, server information, status, reset sequences, summary, or survey rather, we got logs. And we got power, we got the virtual power button, power cycle. And then we got virtual floppy, virtual floppy status, copy virtual floppy. And we have administration links. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to the remote console. We're gonna launch a two cursor. And there you can see the remote console. This is on my file server. Also a backup domain controller. Windows 2003 Server Enterprise Edition. Uh, that is the DL380G2. Next, we are going to go over to our virtual power button. And we can turn the server power off. Continue. And we're gonna go back over to our remote console. Oh, it looks like it didn't turn off. We'll go to power cycle instead. And over here, you can see the server rebooting. You can see the processor's initializing, the RAM has been initialized. And here's the remote console on the computer. Right now, the array controller, uh, HP Smart Array 5i, is initializing all six hard drive or initializing all six hard drives. Our drives have all been started.
and there you can see we have a successful reboot using Compact's remote integrated lights out. That's all for now.